from Disney's Vampirina. I want to fit in with the other kids and do things the human way. To Nick Jr.'s Zack and Quack. Hoping Quack, I'm going to eat a good wingman. Israeli artist Ehud Landsberg is adding some color to the animated film and TV universe. I studied in uh, Betzalel Academy uh, in Jerusalem, so art and design. I just kind of naturally gravitated towards animation. Individual artists can do more uh, by themselves what would maybe 10 years ago would require a team of people. Now that can be good and bad. Optimus, Cybertron is under attack. Ehud, who is currently living in Ireland, has himself gone through a transformation, with the highlight being directing several episodes of Transformers Cyberverse for Hasbro. When I was a kid, I had a dream to work on, on two shows. One was The A-Team, and the second one was Transformers. And I, I gave it my all because I felt like a personal sense of responsibility to make sure that uh, I um, help shepherd Transformers in a, in a good direction. This treaty between the Autobots and the Decepticons proclaims a new era. But Ehud's personal passion harkens back to his childhood, growing up in a small town in Israel, surrounded by bees. My grandfather had a beekeeping business, which uh, he gave to my parents, and I uh, ended up helping out. And I, I turned out to be the disappointment of the family going off to, uh, to animation rather than uh, sticking around and helping out with the business. Uh, but the, uh, the bees and knowledge about them can turn out to be uh, quite a big inspiration for me. Also an enthusiast of martial arts, Ehud noticed the similarities between bee behavior and the rigid social structure of bee communities to those of samurai warriors in feudal Japan. All the individual bee does is devote its life to serve the collective. Ehud has designed and directed his own animated short, The Sunflower Soldier, with a female main character to represent the intrinsic girl power of bees. <laughs> All bees that do anything of, of use are female. The males, they don't do anything other than uh, mate with the queen, and when they do, they die. The main character herself lets her innate talent go to her head, but she learns a humbling lesson when facing an arch-rival wasp. The only way a bee can, bees can kill a wasp is they have to wrap themselves in a ball around the wasp and vibrate and elevate the temperature of the wasp. 